I'm working on a welding table. The top's gonna be half inch thick. It's gonna be four foot deep, of just under seven foot wide. I'm framing up the underneath to work the legs up. All the material is gonna be quarter inch thick, besides the top's half inch. And I'm gonna try and use these adjustable feet and then also these caster wheels. So when it's stationary, it's gonna be setting on these feet for these feet and I can adjust the feet, get them raised up in the air, and then it'll be sitting on the caster wheel to then be able to move around wherever I want. But that way if I'm on unlevel ground or these wheels, a lot of times these wheels go bad over you know 10 years, so hopefully this idea works. If it doesn't, I'll just go with the wheels, but let's we'll see how it works. So this plate came from my last project of building the hitch for my military truck. It's the half inch plate, left it outside for a couple months, so just had to wire brush it off there so I can weld on it. I'll have links to videos that I got some inspiration from with the whole caster and adjustable feet idea. And then also these casters I bought, they're six inch, they're rated for like 5,000 pound capacity when they're all put together. And they weren't cheap, they're like 130 bucks, but they are the best casters I've ever been able to see in Walking Menards, Home Depot, there's nothing that compares. So if, you're, if you have a project and you need really heavy duty casters, I'll have them in the description for you. When I first started welding, I was just doing flux core with my machine and I flipped it over to MIG for this project. Let me know any tricks or tips that you guys have for me. This is my first time ever doing it, building this work table. So when building the frame of the table here, I did two pieces together, made a corner, and then conjoined those two pieces to make the full the full square frame of it. And here I'm finishing those welds. I had to grind them perfectly smooth, so then the frame sat flush against the plate, and also the legs would sit flush against the frame. And everything went pretty good here. A little bit of teeter-totter to it, and that's kind of why I did the adjustable feet is if you just have caster wheels on the end of the feet post and there's wobble, you're kind of screwed. So having the adjustable feet will give me the ability to take out any unsquareness or wobble because I know I'm not going to build it perfect. And it kind of uh, saved me because I didn't make it perfect in the end. And here's me putting up the post. It was a little tough to get these perfect, but they turned out just fine. So this is what I'm working on. I have three eighths here. I wish that was thinner so it was easier to drill. I don't need it that thick, but that's okay. So we're drilling through with a hand drill and then I will weld that nut on. And the idea is that I will be able to take weight off the table. Like I'm gonna do a cross here. So I could jack up this side of the table. Then once weight's off the feet, I can spin this, spin this all the way in. So now the feet are all the way in. So I adjusted them down and then I'm gonna have those caster wheels that will now be sticking like half an inch be lower than these feet and then once I set the table back on the ground then the caster wheels will be on the ground they'll be like 
I'll put one here, one there, one, you know, four, and then I'll be able to roll it around. Then I want to keep it stationary, jack it back up, adjust these back down, spin it so it's lower than the caster wheels, and then we're good to go. But one of the things you're probably noticing is this, I bought a swivel one on accident. So I'm going to try, and I couldn't find ones that are this heavy duty that aren't swivel. If anybody in the comments can explain to me why you would make a swivel adjustable foot like this that's so heavy duty, let me know in the comments. I don't understand. Because these are adjustable feet. Why, why would you want it to swivel? Anyway, I'm going to try and weld this part perfectly straight so it doesn't swivel, but we'll see. I think this will be our like, weakest link. Hopefully this works. There we go, seemed like that worked. And I obviously we aren't getting totally level two. The nice part is it has rubber feet. So if they're, if it's not totally level, there's a little like teeter-totter, not all the weight is in one spot. It should be able to, you know, there's gonna be so much weight, the rubber is gonna be compressed and then hopefully, it, you know, there's more surface area touching. And then I'll put a level on that foot and see how that looks. Obviously, I'm gonna, I'm gonna weld the nut. There's a little play there. You can kind of see how not level the feet, there the foot weld is when I spin it. You can, you can see it wobble. All right, so I made a mistake. I built the table too tall. I was going for 36 inches and I forgot to take into account that this is two and a half inches there and then I forgot that half inch. So we are at 41 and a half inches tall on the ground right now. And you're probably thinking, why don't I just adjust these feet? Well, the idea is I'm gonna have a crossbar going around the whole thing and these caster wheels will be sitting right here. So. I'll jack up one side, un like thread up that wheel, thread up that foot so it goes up. But I want that to be fully extended right now and that be my finished height. And then when I lower it back down, these wheels are super high in the air. Anyway, I built it too tall. I want it to be good. It's 41, 40 and a half inches. I want it to be 36 and I'm, I'm pretty short. So it feels, feels kind of tall, like this bench over here is 36 inches, feels right, it's like at my hips. So I'm thinking this probably isn't the smartest, so I'm gonna lay it back down and cut four inches off and re-roll it together and try and keep things level and good still. I used the combination of angle grinder to get a clean cut and then drilled a hole and got the plasma cutter started so I could fly through it really quick. Here I'm welding back on the old feet to the sections that I already cut off. Then I'm going to go ahead and flip the table over and do the other side and not realizing that I took four inches off, it had a tendency to flip over because the top is so heavy, but everything was fine. It was just kind of funny. We'll get it flipped back over somehow.
Here I'm drilling the mount for the caster wheels, four holes for the caster plate to bolt up onto. These are gonna get welded up underneath the subframe I just built that then the shelf is gonna go on top of. So measured it once, made one, then used that as a template. These seem to cut pretty good. They were a quarter inch and here we're tacking them below. So do that four more times. Put the wheel on here, if I did it correctly, it should be in the air and it is. We cut off a little too much, but that's totally fine. This is just acting as a shelf. It's not structural at all. And uh, we'll just tack it down, super simple. I wanted some weight down here just cause this, this plate weighed so much. So finishing up here, we rounded off the corners. You don't catch yourself on them. They were kind of sharp and I'm squaring off the end where I end up putting a vise. So drill four holes, put a vise on there. This is how the plate was when uh, I left it and built a hitch for it. So I was just making the most out of that little piece, wire brushed the top, had it out for a few months. And I recommend I bought a pro grade seven inch vise. Don't buy it. It was a piece of junk. I had to return it. All right, the table's done. I'm happy with it. Turned out pretty good. Learned a lot. Quite a bit of mistakes, so it was my first time ever doing MIG welding. So if you guys have any feedback or comments you want to put in the comment section, feel free to do. always trying to learn. We kept this little section on here and put the vise on. That way, I don't know, I, I didn't want to waste it. And I thought, well, you can kind of walk around the vise and you have room to get right here and you can spin the vise and stuff like that. But originally this was a four by eight foot half inch plate and I think we're about 70 inches long here still four foot wide I think it turned out pretty good now I have storage down here can put the plasma cutter chop saw stuff like that and this is how the feet kind of turned out so underneath there is the nut and what I do is I come underneath with the jack jack it up and then I can thread these in and my dad had the really good idea of just putting putting the nuts up here and then that way I never lose the feet so I put the feet underneath, thread it up, and then set the jack back down. And now we are on those feet. And these caster wheels are super nice. It's pretty easy just to move the table one hand, not even pushing that hard. And it's still moving like that. And then I can lock it in. And the table doesn't move too bad. So when I want it to be completely stationary and completely level, that's why I chose those feet. Otherwise, I would have just done the casters on the post. So that way, because I didn't build it perfect, I can use the adjustable feet to level it out and get it how I want to. That way, I was worried if I did the caster wheels on the post, then it might have some rock that I couldn't get out. So give, having those leveling feet is pretty nice. And I bolted those on instead of welded on the caster wheels. That way, if they ever break or anything, I can just get new ones. Turned out pretty good. Happy with it. So I'm now gonna take this down to Grant's farm and use it when I'm servicing the excavator. All right, we got it all loaded up. Bring the welder, torch, tools, and then a couple other things in the workbench. So hopefully it all rides good. No crashes. <laughs> 